Hello, YouTube land. How you guys doing today? Miss Tiki, you know, she's just sliding through. And uh, the reason I'm sliding through, I've seen, uh, I gotta do it like this because I've been a forgot. Yeah, bitch getting old. I seen Miss Lady Nika's video. I said, let me get my ass up out this bed feeling sorry for myself because I don't feel good today. And, uh, I downloaded the Periscope, but I can't remember my password, and I want it all to run together with my Twitter. So as soon as my son get home, he gonna show me how to run that shit all together, and then I'll be able to join you guys on Periscope. While I'm off this week, I'm gonna be fucking with y'all. Y'all gonna be like, that bitch need to find something to do. Because this vacation is for rest. My body is so tired. So tired, you guys. So anyway... How you guys doing this Sunday? I hope everybody's had a blessed day. I hope everybody had a blessed weekend. And uh, if not like me, I laid down. I was in so much pain, y'all, yesterday. But I ain't come to whine. I ain't come to complain. And first of all, you guys, I want to pray. I want to send our prayers out to Mr. James Colwell. You know, I, I seen on his channel, you know, we all know he's battling cancer. And, um... He's been in the hospital the last five days doing his chemo. And um, it just, you know, his spirits are so high. And during his time that he's going through everything he's going through, I appreciate that young man took time out to shout me out. Thank you, James Colwell. Thank you, you know, and I'm praying for you. I always tell you this too shall pass. I will be getting your P.O. Box number because, of course, I want to send you a love offering. And uh, I'm not begging, and he's not begging from anybody. But if you guys can, I know he has a P.O. Box uh, number or uh, uh, address, and maybe we all should get together. Some of his subscribers and fellow YouTubers. And, and if we can, you know, send him some books, money, whatever we can to reach out to help another fellow YouTuber in his time of needs, you know. No, he didn't ask me to do this, and no, I've never spoken with him. But I appreciate someone in his time of need who could look up and try to help somebody else. That type of guy, as I put on his thing, that's my boo thing. My boo thing, I'm praying for you. We're all praying for you. And I always say, this too shall pass. Second of all, I should have been the first. I want to thank all my new subscribers that I've received. Lately, my little numbers have went up. Like I told you guys, this is a hobby. This is something I do. The troll that came up onto my video and told me, lazy bitch, go get you a job. And I had to go there and say, bitch, I've been working for the last 28 and a half. I got to make sure I put a half. A half years I've been working on my job, okay? Always have worked. And um, and I thank God, you know, I want to give honor to God who is the head of my life, who has helped me to not miss a beat because there's been a lot of days well, I felt like I didn't know whether I was going to make it or not, you know. So I thank God who is ahead of my life. And I just thank you, Lord. We always coming in and we always complaining. We always whining. But you know what, Lord? I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Because you have been so good to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. No, I can't see. I could go on and on and on about your praise. Lord, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. Might not be the words, y'all, but you know what? Today's Sunday, and I might not be there to give God his honor, but you know what? You ain't got to be in church to serve the Lord, you know. And I just want you guys to know I might curse and I might show out sometime. And my mouth might not be, you know, holier than thou. But I know that man up above. And I know he done brought me a long way, okay? I also want to send shout out. And I don't have that many subscribers, Lord. And I thank you for my little 200 subscribers. Yes, yes, I do. And I just want to send shout out. And I want you guys to go over and support this young lady's channel. It's S underscore Hutchison. 
S underscore H U T C H I N S O M. And I got her channel from Lady Nika. You know that Lady Nika, girl, you know you have a heart of gold. I watched your video, and you know what? I know God is good. And when you said, you know, I might not be right there with you, but I am watching you and I love you to that certain person. I just want you to know we serve an awesome God, you know. And um, that young lady, Lady Nika, I don't care who you are. You can have one subscriber, five subscribers, ten subscribers, and this young lady will go in and retweet your videos, share your videos, hit you up, leave you a comment, give you that support. One cup of cocoa uh, daily, one cup of cocoa daily. I got that from Lady Nika. Frank White, I, I think that was Lady Lady Nika. Um, this young lady, Pam, uh, Mini Pam, Lady Nika. James Caldwell, Lady Nika. Mike V, Lady Nika. Girl, you are a blessing to a lot of us. And you know what? It's people like you that keep this black YouTube family together we don't have to be in no cliques and in no groups and uh everybody is about themselves everybody's gonna do their own thing you i may send you over to uh mike v channel because i think mike v is a great person and i like the way he give his reviews i might send you over to james colwell channel because james colwell is an awesome person i might tell you go check out my girl lady nika because that motherfucker just like me I might send you over to C Minted channel because that, that young lady keeps it 100. The Ghetto View, she started my support also, The Ghetto View. I'm sorry. But that young lady has retweeted and shared my videos and got on the phone and helped me and told me how to do things. And you guys, I just can't say thank you enough to everybody who has supported me. But um, also in this video... I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go to church for a minute. I'm going to come back later on with some of my, um, uh, I might watch Married to Medicine. I hadn't been reviewing it, but it's been, it's, it's getting good because it's almost toward the end. And, uh, these motherfuckers showing out, you know, it's getting toward that finale and that reunion and these bitches want another season. So, you know, it's on and popping, you know, it's on and popping. Basketball Wives LA, y'all. It done fell off, but uh, I'm going to make sure I, I view it tonight and uh, get my review up. And uh, yesterday I was laying in, I was minding my business. You know, I was just sliding through, you know, kind of just scrolling through, you know, because the bitch didn't feel good. My motherfucking back was hurting, you know, bitch was laying in, hello, uh oh, uh oh. And thank you, Lady Nika, for that phone call last night, because you know what? I was laying up under the bed and I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't taking no phone calls. Because just because people see a smile on your face, they think everything is okay. But nobody knows. And I know you know. I know you know. But nobody knows what you're going through. But anyway, y'all, Plies was on motherfucking uh, Instagram. I don't do Instagram. But I seen it on the shade room. Y'all, that's my shit. If you ain't checked out the shade room, go to the shade room. And before I get into Plies' story... That's what Justin J1232 was. That's why I seen his ass on there on Instagram reading Sheree Whitfield motherfucking ass. That, that motherfucker said that bitch was out there at Piedmont Park charging people $5, y'all, to take a picture with your motherfucking phone. And uh, like she's some motherfucking body. I was like, bitch, what? Bitch, what? $5 with your shit? Really, bitch? So anyway, he went on Instagram and read her motherfucking ass, honey. That motherfucker got overnight success. Boss up the shade room. All these people were sharing that video. You go, Justin J. Shit. Some people may say you messy and I don't know. I'll be look, shady. Yeah, your ass shady. Honey, but if that's the way you gotta get what you wanna get in life, just get it. Do what you gotta do. But back to plies and young thug. 
Y'all know Plies got Sweet Pussy Saturday, you know. Sweet Pussy Saturday. And uh, he put on there, this is my mood. He put the little girl on there. She was digging in her nose. And she said, I'm motherfucking tired. And uh, she said it again. The mama was videotaping. And she said, I'm motherfucking tired. And she said, what you say? I'm motherfucking tired. So anyway, Plies being the fool he is, he said, this is my mood, y'all. I guess he released some mixtape or something. And he put the picture of the little girl. So in a way, it comes uh, to find out that this motherfucking little girl is young thug. You know, at first I thought she was a little, uh, cause she, you know, I, I ain't trying to talk about nobody kids. I don't, mm, mm, speechless, y'all. Let me shut the fuck up. The little girl look rough, y'all. And, uh, young thug come in on the video and he talking shit to plies, motherfucking nigga. You know, he got that country, that country swag. You better get that motherfucking shit down. You better take it down right motherfucking now. Y'all, this is in my words. And uh, anyway, I guess Plies got a hold to his motherfucking video. He went back on and said, nigga, if you had a motherfucking problem with me, you could have just called me and told me. I ain't know that was your motherfucking daughter on there. I'm not taking a motherfucking thing down. So then Young Thug, girl, they on there showing out, you know. I just want to know, y'all, um, actors, actresses, celebrities, do y'all motherfucking cell phone work? Do y'all Twitter accounts work? Do y'all email? Why y'all be putting that shit out for the nation, the worldwide internet to see how y'all be conducting y'all selves? Y'all thought you wonder why your daughter three years old acting like that? Well, goddamn. He said he didn't know the mama had put her up there like that. He said on the last video, I'm going to talk to her mother about what she did and how she put my child on there. But take that motherfucking shit down, you know. It died out, y'all. I don't know if he took it down. But I didn't see no more today. And Plies was hot as a motherfucker, y'all. He was not giving in. And I'm, you look, look. I'm going from back from one site to the next, to the next site, to the next. And I'm laying here and I'm just scrolling, 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 scrolling. I say, Lord Jesus, these motherfucking celebrities, y'all just, just keep us motherfuckers entertained, you know? What a nigga supposed to do if y'all put that shit out there? Hell yeah, I'm going to watch. Hell yeah, I'm going to talk about it. It is what it is, you know? Like you say, I'm just sliding through. Ha, ha, ha. Y'all, let me hit on this before my little time is out. Uh, Chris Brown, y'all, that's my nigga. I don't care. He a fuck nigga. Chris Brown, motherfucking ass. He won 50% custody over his child support, child custody case yesterday, uh, Friday. Uh, Mia was gone. She was getting $2,500 a month, and that wasn't good enough. So this bitch went back and asked for 15 G, y'all. Just because a motherfucker got money, do you think you deserve $15,000 a month? Bitch, what? What? And you got a nigga writing bad checks? That motherfucker can't put y'all in a nice place? How about take your motherfucking ass back to work, Mia? So anyway, the judge granted him 50% custody on the fourth day of each week. She has to relinquish custody to Chris Brown. And, uh, but there was one little thing that was forced of him that day. He had to submit a urine, uh, a UA, a drug test. Uh, Chris, I hope you ain't slipping. And Mia was like, I want that motherfucker to take a hair and a piss test. So, Chris, I hope you pass. Oh, Chris, and then you and gang, y'all my time running out. There's so much shit I want to talk about. I ain't got but 15 minutes on this old fuck shit ass video. But uh, I just want to say this right quick. Last night at the fight, Floyd Mayweather, somebody hollered while this motherfucker was fighting. What else? <laughs> this motherfucker doing his fight turned and look. What kind of fuck shit is that? Floyd Mayweather won and supposedly he's supposed to retire. And you guys, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook. And you guys, I said, I'm letting you know I'm just sliding through. And I might slide back through tonight and bring you some more fuck shit. But uh, you guys, 
See you in the next video.